So I'm in Marietta, Georgia, ready to help a family who do desperately need my help. We better take a look. Hi, we're the Johnson family. My name's Roy. I'm Kate, and we have three boys. Denver, our oldest, is four. Logan is three. And Jack is one. That's a silly <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan is our most violent child. Aww. Logan will cry, hits. Hey. He'll be playing happily and then throws whatever he's playing with at someone else's head. Yeah. Draw yeah. No. Yeah, that's Logan. Yeah. That's got to stop. Hey. Stop. Denver's biggest problem is dealing with authority. It's really hard for me to control him and calm him down. You're both going to be in timeout I'm if you not. don't stop it. Yes, you are. I'm not going to stop. Denver will just blatantly ignore everything that's being said to him. Don't go out. I'm just going to play with him. And then turn and smile as if he's not doing anything wrong. Well, so obviously these kids can do what they want. Daddy! About two years ago, we created our family business, The Coffee Park where parents can drink a cup of coffee and let someone else watch their kids. We wanted to have a place our children could enjoy with us. Hey, Denver. What seemed like a great idea and such a fun thing to do with our family has become almost a nightmare for us. Uh -uh. What's that? We probably bring the kids to the coffee park less than once a week. They cause all sorts of havoc. They don't respect our employees. Ow! They hit children and push them over and take their toys away. Who's going to want to bring their kids there? We wanted to alternate between us, one being at home and one being at our store. It turned into me having to stay at home and doing all the office stuff. Please stop. The kids don't understand that I can't constantly get up. I have to sit here and do some work. I'm at my limit with my kids' behavior. I've kind of been defeated. Super Nanny, please, we need your help. Seems like you guys need a little bit of help in the business and a little bit of help at home. Bear with me, because I'm on my way. Joe Frost, pleased to meet you. Johnson. Roy is at work right now, and Super Nanny Joe is about to come and watch my parenting and watch my kids. <laughs> I'm terrified. Hi. 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 This is Jack. Hi, Hi Jack. Jack. Hi. And who's this? That's Logan. Hi, Logan. <laughs> oh, Logan doesn't seem too happy right now. No, he's not. And who are you? Denver. Hi, Denver. Pleased to meet you. Walking into the home, I saw a house that was very unkept. There was lots of scribbles and artwork on the walls. The house was in absolute disarray, and quite frankly, so was the discipline. Oh, stop. Don't rip the wallpaper off the wall. Let's go in the living room. Come on. We're going out of Jack's room. We're going in Logan! When Logan ripped the wallpaper off, I was horrified. No. Come on, Jack. No. Come on, Logan, stop. No. Could you believe it? There was Logan behaving the way he was, and there was no consequences. So I wonder why he carries on and does what he does. Logan, come on. Come in the living room. Denver! No! Oh, my word. You are kidding me. These boys like to clown around. Logan was running around like a little Tasmanian devil, and Denver was totally running mad. Denver? As soon as Mum sits down to do some work for the shop, the children get worse. Oh, gosh. OK, no more Mark. I did Jack. No, don't tell her. Oh. Yeah. No, no more marker. Come on, let's wash your mouth. <laughs> These boys are obviously bored and misbehaving. It's a good way of getting mum's attention. <laughs> I 
And obviously, it's a vicious cycle. No, Logan, stop. Logan! Okay, well, we'll go to the coffee park in a little bit, okay? So how much work do you actually get done? Not very much at all. I'd love to be up there at the, the coffee park, making the coffee, enjoying the customers, making yes. the food, and yeah. seeing what I put all this background work into. It's just a waste of a morning. Mum didn't get any work done for the shop, and the boys didn't have any fun with Mum either. You want to go eat some lunch at the coffee shop? <laughs> so we're going to the coffee shop, is that right? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Joe Frost, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. How, How are you? Johnson? Doing well. Good. I think the coffee shop is a great idea. As a parent, you get to hang out, have a coffee, whilst the kids play under supervision in the treehouse. But with the arrival of the Johnson boys, things turned into chaos. Hey! You want to go to sleep? Night night. And on that bed, there is. You bit his diaper? No, you don't need that. That's sugar. Denver. The first thing I noticed was that Denver and Logan run around the coffee shop like they do at home. <laughs> what parent is going to want to bring their kids into the coffee shop when the owner's children behave the way they do? <laughs> and even worse, one of the employees told me that the kids like to run around behind the counter. That's dangerous. They come out from there, they come back here, and there's so much hot, hot water and hot things that they could get burned or somebody could get hurt. Mum and Dad are really allowing their kids to jeopardise their business. But at the same time, these kids are also in dangerous situations. That just can't happen. <laughs> Having watched these boys run around and spend time speaking to the employees, I saw Mum and Dad arguing over something rather petty. Mum forgot to bring up the diaper bag, and so Jack had leaked. Oh, Kate! Hey. What? 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 It's like so... the worst mum ever. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Mum had to ask one of the mums if they had a spare diaper. Have, did you not change him at all today? Yeah, I changed him. Well, he's covered in pee. Dad was really heavy on her for that. You know, he was, he was quite mean with his choice of words. So do you have other pants for him? When Roy criticised me, it didn't really phase me because it happens a lot and I kind of just let it go now. I'll look in my car and if there's pants in there, then he'll have pants again. Dad speaking to Mum the way he did in front of those kids is totally unacceptable. These parents certainly need to work together as a team so that they're able to run this business successfully and come home as a partnership in how they raise their boys. When we got home, Dad headed towards the kitchen to get dinner ready, and Mum was left alone to look after the kids. Dinner, let him go. <laughs> Kate, is this all the milk we have? We're gonna need some for Jack. I know. Get it. Well, I need this for potatoes. No, time out. I told you not to jump on the couch. Time out. No. Okay, Bubba. What is it that you expect from Kate when you're at that coffee shop? What's her role? What do you expect her to be doing? I would like to see her keep the house clean and do everything that a, someone who's a stay-at-home parent would do. There are definitely times when I'll come home and say, did you do anything while you were here? Because I, I don't necessarily see the results of what she does, and that if I clean up, that I'll say, well, I'm doing what you should have been doing all day. This dad obviously doesn't have a clue what it takes to look after three young boys. No, 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 Logan? No, 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 no. This is not about, well, I do the harder job, it's me, I do. I mean, that's, it's immature. We've got two parents here who have to grow up pretty darn quickly. They're raising three young human beings, and so they're going to need to step up fast. All right, guys, let's get to the table, OK? The boys sat down at dinner time, and Dad didn't even try and correct their behaviour. I've just reached a point where of futility that why even try to make it different because it's the same thing every night. Whatever. 
It's very clear that these parents are at their wits end when it comes to being at home and running the business. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye, bye bye. We've certainly all got our work cut out for us tomorrow. Are you nervous? <laughs> you should be. So let's talk about boundaries first of all. If you were going to set a boundary, what would it be? I don't think we know where to start. Let's take the shop. The children go around by the kitchen area, and that's a safety issue. Climbing up on the counters. Yeah. You know, opening up drawers that may have knives in them. You know, rules, we do not climb up. We do not go near. So let's talk about discipline. There doesn't seem to be any here, does there? No. Not consistently. Not effectively. <laughs> not, not effectively, not consistently. We're talking about the wrong recipe here, right? You can't expect to have children that are going to listen if you don't follow through. Yeah, they'd never know the consequence <clears throat> to what they're doing. It's, it's different every time, and sometimes I give in, sometimes I don't. They're confused. One minute you said this, then you'd said that. I'm confused. I'm angry. I'm getting mixed messages. Tell me no and mean no. Give me some rules because I need them. And it's very unsettling, and we can see that from their behaviour. Let's talk about the pair of you. You guys disagree on a lot of things, but you don't resolve anything. If you guys do not understand the importance of, of talking with one another and resolving the issues that you individually have as well as the pair of you as parents, nothing's going to get better. It's not. It's going to get worse. What is it that you need from Roy? I need him to back me up when I tell the kids no or when I say something to the kids and then to respect what I do at home. I might not get the whole house cleaned in one day, but it's probably because I've been working at, on the computer for the coffee park and respect that it's hard to juggle it all. What about yourself, Roy? What do you need from Kate? I need to know that she's going to be there and be able to do everything that one would think that a wife should. You both need the support from one another, but you're a mirror reflection in that it's difficult to actually have that conversation. You're going to need to work together, but we are not throwing the towel in, because that's not an option here. That's not an option. You know, you're both committed in raising three young children, and that's the most important role that you'll ever do in your life. That's everything I've been wanting. Good, so we're going to get it. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on, let's get knuckled down with home rules. The first thing that I wanted to do with the Johnson family was to put in some rules so these boys would know what was expected of them. Short and simple, to the point. So, number one. No hitting. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> the family very quickly come up with seven rules to be used at home and at the coffee shop. But it wasn't long before the boys flouted rule number one, no hitting. No. Slogan. Slogan. I had to show mum and dad how to do discipline. And then in a very firm voice, turn around and say to them, I want you to stop this behaviour. If you do not do that, then you will be going into timeout. And then dad had a chance to give Denver a timeout. Do not draw on the piano. I can hear you. <laughs> He's trying to control the situation. So in a firm voice, Give him clear instruction of what you expect him to do. Denver, you need to listen to me or you're going to go to timeout. Look at me and listen. What's All he right. doing? If you're not going to listen, you're going to go to timeout. Come on. All right, no talking. Denver. Doesn't need to sit down. To sit but he's in that out. area and you're going to tell him why he's been placed because there. Because you are not listening to me and you know better than to write on things that are not paper. Daddy, I'm trying to work. I was listening to you. Listen me. the first time. I was Four minutes. Move away. Set your timer and then you're going to place him back. Dad was consistent and strong when Denver refused to do timeout. <laughs> but then Denver made a break for it. Just watch him because he's waiting for you to play cat and mouse with him. 
with Denver running around in the backyard, I showed Dad exactly how to take a hold of this situation. Denver, you're to come in this house by the time I count to three, because if you do not, you will be going to bed straight after dinner. One, two. Tell me what I just did with him over there. Using a firm voice. Yeah, firm voice. He moved did, I, did I sound like I was messing around? No. Um, what did I give him, ultimately, from where we were here? Yeah. Once Denver knew that I meant business, he stayed straight in time out. It gave me hope that they do have it in them to listen and made me realize that if I demand the respect, that I should be able to get it from the kids. So then Dad needs to follow through properly. Denver, you are in time out because you were not listening to me. Do not write on the piano. You only draw on paper. Do you understand? Now, can you say you're sorry? Sorry. Really? Are you? Come here. Dad did a good job when it came to handling the time out. Now the question is whether Mum can do it. Later on in the afternoon, we went to the coffee shop where I showed Mum and Dad how to do discipline there with a very simple tool. This is your time out wherever you place it to be. Whether it's up on a wall or it's down on the floor, this will be your time out, OK? As long as the kids realise, whether you're at home or you're at work, that you will discipline when they misbehave, you'll see a dramatic change in their behaviour. I still had to work on the boys not going behind the counter, so I showed Mum and Dad a very simple, colourful tool to use that even a three-year-old would understand. See what that is? What is it? A, a big line, you can't A cross. big red line, OK? You can't, you can't and that, go right there. come here, that is our red line to say, stop, we're not, we don't go in the kitchen anymore. Kitchen okay. is just for us. You understand flat. the rules, Logan? Yeah. Just for Do stop. Flat. All right. All right. The boys immediately tested the red tape boundary. Hey, come back. Denver, you know that's against the rules, OK? This is your warning. You're going to go into timeout, OK? All righty. Denver listened to Dad, and he started to respect the red tape boundary. Then Logan refused to stay in his seat at dinner time, and Mum, for the first time, did discipline. Stay in your seat, OK, and finish your dinner. If you get up again, you're going to have to go to timeout. <laughs> All right, Logan, that is timeout. I told you to stay in your seat through dinner. You're going to stand right here for three minutes, Logan. Let's go finish your dinner, OK? Good. Time out. <laughs> Logan, you're in time out because you didn't listen to mommy. Look at me and tell me sorry. Sorry. Okay, then give me a hug. Thank you. All right. I think the X marks the spot timeout place is great because it gives us a place to put our kids in timeout and I think we're going to put it up so that all of our customers can use it as well. You followed through, which was amazing. <laughs> so just keep up with it. Okay. You're doing a good job, just keep up with it. <laughs> I think Mum did a great job when it came to holding down discipline. But Dad's still not happy. And I'm going to go put him in the treehouse and go get Denver out of the bathroom. And you get him to eat. Roy's words hit Kate really hard, and I found her at the back of the shop distraught over his attitude. I feel like Roy doesn't help me at all build my confidence. I mean, he points out everything I do wrong. He puts me down all the time. He doesn't lift me up. I just, you know, I'm hitting my breaking point. It's been a long time. Do you want the best bit of advice you, you're going to get? Yes. Roy does need to support you, and that doesn't mean putting you down. He needs to be telling you from his own heart what you need to hear. And while you swallow it, Kate, <laughs> while you take this CRAP every day, it's not going to get better. You're not meant to shut up and put up and tolerate stuff that you're unhappy about because you're married. You need to go out there and say to him, we need to talk. No, I know. I mean. <laughs> then step up for yourself, because nobody else is going to do it, Kate. Nobody. You hear know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> you can make this better, OK? Come on. <laughs> if 
If mum and dad really want to get control over their children's naughty behaviour, then they must work together and Roy must stop putting his wife down. Come on. <laughs> do what you need to do. Hey, Roy, come here for a No, I, I need you to build me up, OK? And I need you to stop putting me down and pointing out everything that I do that's wrong, OK? With everything, the coffee park is both of us. So you need to recognize that and recognize how hard it is for me and build me up. You're right. You do a good job, and I'm sorry for being so hard on you. I'll try to. You know, can't try. You just you've got to do it. Okay. <laughs> I will. Okay. Roy's apology seemed a little less than sincere. He apologized, but I'm used to hearing I'm sorry, and it didn't seem like he really was being heartfelt. After I saw Roy's half-hearted apology, I just knew I needed to step in. You're killing us awfully. What is it deep-rooted that you're, that you're feeling frustrated and angry with? I don't know. I think that just the stress of the coffee park, I just lash out at someone to blame and not really fair to her, I guess. Put it right, it's not OK right. to talk to your wife that way. It's not OK for anybody to. So apologise, feel it, apologise. Show her that you can change that. Talk to her, put it right. OK. It was hard to hear Joe hit right at the core of the issue. It was kind of one of those moments where I realised that I really haven't been giving her all the support that she needed. I'm sorry. OK, thank you. I really am. And I know that I haven't given you the support you need. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've just been tearing apart at your faults and not helping you through everything. I'm okay. sorry. I never meant to hurt you with it. I love you. Roy apologized again and really, truly opened his heart up. I really think that now we can work on the little things, knowing that um, we've hopefully put this bus behind us. <laughs> Dad, you are going to be at home with the kids today. Kate, you're going to work. I think it's important that both parents have empathy and appreciate each other's roles. Dad clearly doesn't understand how difficult that is for Mum, and so what I want them to do is to experience walking in each other's shoes. I am going to work. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I was excited to get out of the house and be able to talk with other adults. OK, so this is where you grow eyes at the back of your head, Roy. I was a little worried on how the boys would act and whether or not I would be able to handle it. Dad was trying to get some work done for the shop, and as usual, the kids were going mad behind him. Welcome to Mum's World. Logan, no more throwing. <laughs> what happened? You're gonna break this. Stop. You want more snack? You want a snack too? You want it cut? Okay. That's learning. It's just not that easy to look after three kids and run a business at home. So how much work we get done? Not very much. Dad's certainly getting a taste of what Mum has to experience every day. I decided to go up to the shop and see exactly how Mum was getting on. Oh, can I go get a coffee around here? <laughs> Mum was clearly enjoying herself. She was having a blast, actually, and smiling like I'd never seen her smile. I kind of got a little bit of my spark back being able to interact with my employees and talk with other adults. All right, well, listen, I'm going to go back because uh, your husband's holding down fault. <laughs> Hello. Hello. When I got back home, the house was looking reasonable and the boys were happy. How did that work out with the um, work that you needed to get done within the shop? I was able to get the schedule out finally when they calmed right. down a little bit. It was refreshing for me to get to be at home with the boys. Going down? So often I feel like I'm missing out on all the good times. Hi. Hello. Hi. How was your day? It was good. All right. Both parents have a deeper appreciation of what the other one does, and so together we created a schedule they can equally take responsibility in raising their children and running their successful business. I'm going to be at work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But Mum did have one concern. A part of me says, I want to be home with my kids, and sometimes I feel like that 
when the kids are with him, they have so much fun and enjoy him and play. And then when I'm at home with them, it's just a constant struggle to get them to listen and we don't have that fun. This is just a real shame. What I want to do is to teach mum how easy it can be to get out there and have fun with your boys. How old are you? 26. 26. <laughs> I know you remember what it was like when you were younger, right? So we need to pull out that inner child and let's have some fun with these kids, OK? Wow, look at this. Look at this big pirate hat. She wanted me to really join their pirate adventure wholeheartedly. Kate, take her through the jungle. Go through the trees. Ready? Ready? We're going to have to just push oh. away through the jungle. Push away through the jungle. branches away. Oh, oh quick, over that. Oh, quick. Oh. Oh. What I am seeing is Kate make more of an effort today than she has made since I've arrived. And this is really allowing her to connect with the children and have a lot of fun with them. Pirate play was definitely quality time with my boys. Let's talk about what's important for while I'm gone for several days. First and foremost, we need to be kind to one another. Be mindful of your language. Put the time out. I want you to practise more on your tone of voice, all right? I'm definitely very nervous that I won't be able to follow the timeout techniques. Follow through, be consistent, have fun with your kids, and talk. The toughest part while Joe's away is going to be getting Denver to follow through the steps of timeout. <laughs> Thank you. I think this family have done very well, but I'm going to be very curious to see how much control they have over their boys when I'm gone. Quite anxious to see. I've been away for several days, and yes, I am interested to see whether the Johnson family kept it together and were they kind to one another. Who's excited? All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the treehouse. Yeah. Ah! Careful, bud. Tree. <laughs> Here. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Uh, hey, Denver. Hey, don't yell. Caught that poor kid on the block. Denver. No, put it. Pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, bud? Come here. Being a parent, you take your kids to the coffee shop. You actually see that they're this little boy and this other little boy. They are behaving atrociously and they're now throwing toys at your child. And then you realise after that, they're the owner's children. What's the next thing you think? The owners aren't in control. Yeah. Why aren't they disciplining them? My word, what kind of place is this? How can I take my kids to a place like this for them to enjoy when there's this child and this child doing what they're doing? One, it's not acceptable for your children to behave that way, but two, it's important for Denver and for Logan to realise that just because Mummy and Daddy own the coffee shop doesn't mean it's their castle. This is Mummy and Daddy's workplace because that's, that's scary. I mean, I'd give a kid a concussion, throw that big truck and throw it at the back of someone's head. When we see that behaviour, we curb it straight away. So let's move on to the creative play. OK, what do you bring in your awesome? Song? Yes. Oh, that sounds good. I like that. No, 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 no. Johnson Brothers Band. No pushing people. No pushing people. No pushing people in the world. Yeah! All right. Who made the t-shirts? I did. <laughs> we kind of all decided to play rock star together. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Did you get so much back from that with the kids? I definitely did. It was fun to, you know, just take a break and just play with them and not think about anything else. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, so we're going to look at yourself, Kate, here with Denver's timeout. <laughs> Denver. <laughs> All right. Timeout. I told you not to hit or kick, and this morning I told you not to hurt your brother. You are in timeout because you are not listening to mommy. I wasn't doing anything bad. Denver, what? you got timeout because you didn't listen to mommy. I need you to tell me you're sorry. Sorry. Give me a 
hug. Can you tell Logan and Jack you're sorry? Sorry, Logan. Sorry, Jack. All right, so you did implement a timeout, which is great because you made a decision that certainly needed timeout and you went ahead and you did that. But in the beginning, when you'd made a decision to do a timeout, there was no eye contact. And you didn't there and then say to him, you need to look at me right now because I am talking to you. So that he could see that you facially were very serious with your tone of voice as well. You then got up yeah. and then he started to play cat and mouse with you. So it's your warning really that needs to brush up. Okay. You get the warning down, then everything else will follow. Right, in saying that, I'm gonna move on to communication here. Payroll. Okay. You did it on here? Yep. Oh, good. Did you play with the Coffee Park website today? Nope. It's loading up weird. Alright, I'll work on the website. I'll do this in my spare time. You can do it now. I'm sorry. You can do it now. I know that that's important too. Okay. Not good. You just need to be honest with each other. You're still tippy toeing around each other because you're worried about how the other person will react. So it's almost pretense that the pair of you are playing this little, you know, verbal game between each other, but actually it's, it's not real. And you've got to be real with each other. If you actually feel that Roy's come in and he's poking his nose in what you're doing, you know, there are ways in being able to say, look, right now I'm feeling this way when you behave like this, you know, and vice versa. All right. So I have seen you recognise the importance of being able to knuckle down with your kids and really have fun and enjoy that time with them. And the things that I believe we do need to work on um, straight away is certainly communication and treehouse behaviour's got to go. It's got to go. So are we feeling ready for that work? Yeah. OK, good. All right, let's get on and do some more work. Thank you. It was very clear watching the DVD that mum and dad are still struggling when it comes to handling discipline in the coffee shop. So I decided to meet them there so I can give them some additional practice. Denver and Logan, you're playing in the treehouse right now. You cannot come out here unless we come to get you. This is your warning. If you come out again, you will go in time out. Mommy and daddy need to hey, clean up. Hey, right now. where are the kids? When you're giving them a warning, where were they? What were they doing? Walking. Away. Correct. You remember the warnings? Remember? Eye contact coming down, using that voice. Don't let them walk away. Hey, Jim, stop what you're doing. Look at me. Come here, Logan. Look at me. Come here. Right here. Turn around and look at me. Logan, you need to stay in the treehouse. If you come out again, you will go to timeout. That was 100% better. <laughs> that was a proper warning. But Logan decided to carry on with his misbehaviour, knocking down Denver's blocks when Mum had already given him a warning. He knocked it down again after you told him not to. Logan, you need to take a time out because I told you not to knock down Denver's tower. You are not playing nice. You are going to time out. No! You are in time out because you did not listen and you knocked down Denver's toys. Look at me. Stand on the X and look at me. No. Kate, we're talking rather like this, as if we've come out of Mary Poppins. When you gave him a warning, you gave him a low-toned voice, and that's exactly what you want. It's not Mary Mary, quite contrary. It's sit down there and do your time. You did not listen to Mummy. So let's try that again, please. Logan, sit down. You're sitting in timeout because you didn't listen and you didn't play nice with Denver. OK, three minutes. Do you see the difference? Ah! Logan, you got timeout because you didn't listen. You need to tell me you're sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Can you give me a hug? Ah. I'm certainly a little bit wobbly when it comes to timeouts, but she does know the steps. I'm very optimistic. With more practice, she's certainly going to nail it. OK, so Kate and Roy, I've brought this in for the pair of you, OK? It's dinner tonight here. 
Kate and Roy did say to me in submission, they want to enjoy themselves as a family within their business. So I'm going to show them exactly how to do that. We're going to have a picnic. Would you guys like to help me spread out the blanket? Yeah. All right. Mom, we need to spread out the blanket. All right, good job, guys. Guess what? All the customers are gone, so we can have fun, have a huge Daddy. picnic. Hey, Jack, the Jack. Park, can't we? Just Let's our family. See. Oh, look at all this yummy stuff. When we had the family picnic, it was great. It was a lot of fun to have our kids at our coffee shop and be able to really enjoy everything that we'd built. Really sweet. Who's enjoyed their picnic this evening? Look at Jack. Yeah. Everybody did. Yeah, they did, right? It's yeah. nice, isn't it? Just to take a moment, I'm right? I'm enjoying my family. You're enjoying your family? <laughs> That's when you know you're on the right road. When you hear something like that from your kids, you know you're doing something right. The point of our picnic was to show us that we can do family things at the coffee park and it doesn't have to be all about stress and discipline, that we can still have a good time there. And so it was very refreshing and it was fun. Orange jelly. I didn't want to leave the Johnsons until I had a final word with Kate and Roy back at home. I wanted to give you one last thing. I think it's really important for Kate and Roy to understand that as a young couple, they are on this business adventure together. They are on this parenting journey together, but together they're also a very young couple. I think it's important for you to have these around your house. And those times that get tough, it's the times when you need to look at these pictures and go, I know that I'm in love. And we're going through a little bit of a blip in the road, but we'll get through it together. The picture of Kate and I is going to help us stay grounded and remember the good times. On the days when it gets hard to be able to look at that picture and see us both so happy, it's going to be really encouraging for me. So it's time for me to leave. I've really had a wonderful time working with you both. You've been so receptive to everything that has been taught, really. Listen, you take care. Joe's had a great impact on my family. I was sad to see her leave, but also happy that now I can take back control of my home and implement what she's taught me. Take care, okay? I've learned a lot about myself and how the way that I act in any situation affects Kate and everyone else, and I can't take anything for granted. Come here, let me say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye, Denver. Bye. Bye. I love Fanny Joe because she helps families. Bye-bye. <laughs>